In today's episode, I will show you how to free the bird and become the best Sky player on your server. So, many Sky players are very, very, very inefficient at their Sky flashes because most of the things that they do is like this. It's very inefficient because they are controlling the bird and a few months ago, Sky was nerfed when it comes to her self-efficiency because the devs thought that she is too much of a duelist because she's able to pull out the gun so fast. And also there was a small change because Sky, I think like a year ago, had an animation whenever she was popping the flash. It was like a hand going up and like popping the, the flash. Now there's no animation like that. But people are still doing like controlling this, the sky, fla sky flash, then popping it, and then pulling out the gun and shooting an, a second after that because it got nerfed. The equipment of the gun is way slower because the devs didn't want this character to be more self-efficient. They didn't want this character to be a duelist, right? And I when Sky was buffed when it comes to the animation, I fully considered her a dualist. She was a very efficient at taking space. Now in ranked, again, many players are doing this, but what you can do instead is, I called it the free bird, because I know that there are some players for sure that know this technique, but I would like to make it more popular because I don't see it at all. At Immortal 3, I don't see those people, any people using this technique. And have, none of those people are using the lineups that I think are necessary as well to make it more efficient. So the point of this technique is to bring your gun up way faster. How do you do that? You don't control the bird, the bird hence the free bird. So when we're just going to press mouse one and instantly release, release it, look how fast you, get, you, guys, you guys get your gun out. And I can pop the flash. Right? So, popping the flash is detached from equipping the gun. But if I control the flash, it makes the gun go out slower because Sky is busy doing something with her hands. Right? But if I just press mouse one and the bird flies freely, then your gun is out earlier. And this gives you an advantage. You can be more self-efficient because of that, but you need to learn how to play, um, how to play with this kind of a flash. So, I'm going to show you a few lineups that you can use uh, as examples. And then, of course, you can make your own and like uh, actually implement this in your ranked games as well. So I'm standing at the barrier. This is literally the spot where the barrier drops. And from here, you can use a flash if you just aim on this spot over here. Right? With your flash. Pay attention to what's going to happen with the flash. It just goes straight up above the entrance and I can pop it, flash everyone involved in the C lobby, right? And I don't have to control it. It's incredibly consistent because it's a lineup and because of that, I'm able to uh, pop the flash and peek. So how would that look in action? I'm doing the lineup. Flashing. Ah, uh, why is my ghost on? Oh my God, let's do it again. Flashing and I can instantly shoot. So I'm not restricted by the pullout mechanism that got implemented by the devs. So I play around it. And because of that, I'm again, very self-efficient when it comes to flashing. I can make a pop flash and instantly shoot the gun. It doesn't matter what is the pullout of the gun because I can make it so efficient. I can also make different techniques with this flash. For example, I can add the barrier, I just aim at, uh, the, I think it was this spot over here, and this, uh, the sky flash will go behind mount. And I can pop, pop flash in front of the mount, so it doesn't flash me, right? But it flashes the opponents, and I can peek the moment it pop flashes, or even like a little bit earlier, because people will avoid it, right? And just play from that position. Another technique that you can use with that, and I'm very proud out of this one, not every, like you can find your own, I found one. I will show you. So, Thrifty. you go to it again, Listen to the to same spot. Standing in between us You're gonna stand victory. at the barrier with your back towards this wall, like this. You're gonna aim at this line right here. In a straight line, very important. Look forward. Literally look forward. So look like this. Barrier drops. Don't give them ground. What you do when the barrier drops is you move here. But your aim still has to be on this spot over here, right? And then you flash in a straight line. The bird gets stuck 
on this small pixel here, right? And because it's freed, it's a free bird, you can pop it whenever you want it, and then peek. And the flash is behind you, so you only get half flashed, right? So it should look like something like this. And you can instantly peek and kill people. While they are fully blinded, they can also like think, oh, he messed up the flash, so he's not gonna pop it, right? But it's like, it's the thing that you want to achieve. Right? And the timing, of course, you have to work on it. Do not peek too early from the flash and so on. But all of those techniques combined will be able to make you very efficient. Now, think about like retaking as well. Let's say, or attacking even. Let's say I'm going into B main. I can use the bird to like, you know, for example, do this. And then I peek and I, I'm already dead because people who are flashed are hidden and there are people they are already waiting here who played anti-flash and my gun is never ready, right? But what you can do is use the free view technique again, be very efficient with the flash. So I'm gonna ride the walls. This is, by the way, this is very similar technique to how I create Yodel lineups because it's it's kind of similar, um, um, similar mechanism. So the utility rides the wall, the geometry, right? So I'm gonna ride this wall here and then this wall and it's gonna pop here, right? So hugging the wall and as you can see it's gonna pop behind the corner so I can be ready to pop to go up with my gun almost instantly right and I I can literally play with the sky flash myself I don't have to do it for my teammates I can be very efficient at it and it's very important as well to make sure that they understand like which angles you flash, because that's what you get the most out of this, right? Like if I pop the flash over here, look, entire site gets flashed. So I can literally enter the site alone. And when it explodes over here, even it flashes a deeper corner on the CT, right? And when you retake, for example, from here, you can also make it very self-efficient. Look what we can achieve. We can just like literally make the flash get stuck uh, so I didn't ever try this out, so we're gonna see how this works. I'm gonna just make the beard go in the corner, like this. And then when I flash, I can peek out of my gun out, right? The only problem is, it doesn't flash over here, right? But I can, uh, I, but I can be aware of that. So I can just put the flash like this, right? Yeah, that's gonna work. So I'm gonna put the flash like this. I'm gonna check this, because this player we're gonna turn around. And then I pop it. And I can instantly shoot, and players that are deeper corners here are gonna get flashed. Of course, there are some problems here, like the player over here is not gonna get flashed because it's stuck in this corner. But maybe I can just get it, like, stuck over here as well. Nah. Well, anyway, that's what you need to practice, and just, like, feel like you're able to, con to not control the bird and get full efficiency. Like, this mechanism is incredibly powerful. Incredibly powerful when you play Sky and it makes you much more efficient at dueling it makes you much it makes you much more efficient at uh playing defaults as well because imagine if you're playing on attack on a default and you can just do a lineup for one lane with a flash and then go the other side and you're never controlling it because you always know how the flash goes towards the other side so you play for like heaven c for example your pop flash on a main but you're already towards c because you use the lineup for that so um this is incredibly powerful mechanism technique free the bird i hope you guys learned something and are gonna implement in your own sky game plan uh and gameplay and play style thank you for watching uh share this with your teammates or friends who play Valorant and would like to play more Sky. Thank you and leave us sub and like and whatever, comment maybe.